quick little video on this trailer I just picked up. PJ, seven by 20 foot, 83 between the fenders. Tilt deck, been looking for one of these for a while. Finally found a deal on, this is actually a 2022. Uh, so it's built in 2021, made in Mexico. It's got a GVWR of 9,999 pounds, just under 10,000. And uh, yep, this is one really bad thing I don't like about it. I'll show you here in a minute, but here's just a kind of a quick walk around tour. Uh, pretty nice, heavy duty, five inch channels. And uh, I like that it's all C channel on it, but uh, I'll show you how I'm it. We'll just tilt it up to show you. Uh, not removable fenders, but I could easily switch that over. The tires are, oh geez, they're probably about half life. So he, this guy definitely put some miles on. <clears throat> But yeah, this is, this is kind of what I've been looking for because I think it's just it's gonna be a lot more convenient for loading long vehicles and not having to deal with uh, the gates and such. Look at that sleek profile on the back. And jump on it. Not too much flex in the deck. Pretty good looking trailer. Let's tilt it up now. Spare tire mount over here. Uh, nice battery in there with the cables that you can hook up to the, the winch as well. So that's one nice thing, kind of came with the 12K winch, uh, Badlands. And then he even, he even left his boxes with the, the straps and everything too. Check it out. Yeah, I got a, a hitch extension there. He just left it all. And on this side. Yeah, got some liquid wrench and more straps, remote controller. Yeah, so to tilt it up, uh, on this side is where the pump is. This is uh, known as a, a quick tilt, not a full tilt. Full tilt trailer has a full frame and then a full tilt deck on it. I, I like these because, well, you would think they're probably lighter than a uh, full tilt. And of course, I'm towing it with the Tundra all the time because I love that truck. Okay, to go up. And she goes, and we kiss down right about there, and keep going that far. Now, that's uh, what you're looking like. Now, my biggest gripe is that this trailer's, all the paint's already flaking off, and I don't know what it is with these, like, look at it, it's garbage. It's like they just build it, let it sit outside for a month to rust, and then they shoot it with paint. I don't know, but you know, I'll probably uh, get under here and maybe even pop the boards off, replace all the uh, screws with stainless, and then I might, I might even come in and weld more around all these C channels too. Just beef it up, scrape all loose paint, and then hit it with blaster or paint. Let's see what kind of axes these are. And uh, by the way, in case the hydraulics fail, there's just plenty of room for me under here for if this thing came down. Because you should never rely on the hydraulics. This has got Dexter Haxels, made in Mexico. So that's cool, you know, main brand. And a look at the pivot pins. I'll probably end up putting some kind of grease zerks on these. Uh, but like, look, ch check out this. It's kind of a better look at it, but where, where they bent this, this C channel, like, it's the worst welds ever. That's just gonna crack again, so I think this needs to be to go over it and do some modifications. And I love that this has a steel low profile tail on it and it's one piece, so in case you want to roll a toolbox up or anything else, some, some of them have like little, uh, I don't know, dovetails on there or something, just in the center is open. And the only downside with this one though is if you are putting it down on an uneven surface and on soil or something and that side's real high and that side's low you might need to put some blocks down to get it level um, also wood deck i always wanted a steel deck but then i realized i like wood decks so much more uh, the, the steel decks they they add a lot of weight and then if you're rough on them and you're throwing stuff on that they end up getting all dented and they get bellies in between the joists and then the water sits in there. They also rust out from the bottom and of course they're welded on, so a lot harder to replace. Uh, wood is strong, easy to replace, super durable. Love it. And this morning I am going to deliver the John Deere. Finally decided on selling this. Well, the lead 
handle on this is pretty long, but I guess it would be nice to have a remote control uh, that when you're pulling something on, you can start lowering it down. Of course, the parking brake works good on this, but if it doesn't, I guess you can see that being a pain in the butt. Time people comment asking why I run the Tundra for towing instead of the Ram with the diesel, and oh, I just uh, this is such a comfortable ride, and, and I love this truck. I had this before the Ram. The truck is very dear to me, but I definitely do a lot of beating on it with towing, and this motor started to get super worn out. I'm uh, gonna have to address that at some point. However, still going strong, mildly strong. Not as strong as the day it was new. Uh, and you know, the Ram, I just keep that for, for when we got heavy hit towing and, and that's it. Otherwise, uh, this is kind of my go-to rig. Love my Toyota Tundra. Made in USA. And actually, this truck has more USA made components on it than most modern cars today. Yeah, like Fords and Chevys and such. Uh, I feel like every part I pull off, it's a power steering rack, all the suspension, all that stuff's made in USA course under Toyota but hey it's employing people here so uh, you know because there's always those guys oh you drive a Toyota I'm unsubscribing oh it's, ah, ah. in fact is no other company makes an equivalent truck this Tundra is a mid-size 4x4 five-speed manual transmission with a manual transfer case we got the, uh, the Colorado no those things are junk I worked at the shop for a while so always seeing problems with them First day hitting 80 degrees. Beautiful day to take the caddy swap ass out for her first ride. <laughs> Gotta fix the choke on this car. So it's gonna warm up a little bit. Just hitting the pumper. Rich gets a quick shot in. Yeah, get some earmuffs for the little guy. Okay. I'll bring him up to his favorite island. Much of your island left, Gus. Oh. Water's up too high. Oh! <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> it's 52 yeah. degrees, but I mean, it, of course, being water, that's that's frigid. Temp's coming up, though. Yeah. What's this right here? What's that? Get that out. Of oh, it's already out. Gus, what's this one? Get that out. Pull that out. Good boy. He says, yeah, I was promised a sandy beach and there is just no sand here. So can we can we go somewhere else so I can dig a hole? He just looks for comfy things to sit up and sleep in.